Hey, I'm Ed. Tonight we're gonna make a very simple marinara sauce. A marinara sauce is a very simple, one of the simplest uh, pasta sauces you can make. Uh, just take one can of uh, tomatoes. I use whole or diced Italian tomatoes. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is saute uh, onion and garlic. And I use shallots for this. It's a little bit sweeter. I like that. And then some uh, spices, salt, pepper, hot peppers, quarter te teaspoon of each. And then I add two uh, non-traditional things. I add a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan, which I can actually chuck in right now, and a tablespoon full of dried basil. And there's my dry spices. So this is all together. I smushed up my whole uh, tomatoes a little bit with a potato masher just to... Uh, uh, get some nice consistency there. So like I said, we're gonna start by sauteing the shallots and the garlic and then we'll add the sauce and let it simmer for at least half an hour. The more the better. Oh, last step is what we're gonna do, which is not shown in here, is to add some water from the pasta. Uh, pasta water helps to enhance the flavor and thicken up the sauce a little bit. To start our marinara sauce, we're going to put one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, or you could use regular olive oil. And, uh, get it on some heat there. Add our shallots and garlic, and just let those sweat a little bit. We don't want to really brown them, we just want them to get translucent. Okay, so we sweated down our shallots and garlic a little bit. Now we just add our Tomatoes, basil, salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, salt, and that little extra ingredient, little one tablespoon of Parmesan, and then half a cup of the pasta water. If we boil it for too long, we can add a little more of the pasta water to, uh, to help thin it out a little bit again. So we just let this simmer for half an hour or so. Should be great. Our sauce has been simmering away for about 45 minutes. Now we just add it back to the pasta and heat it through and we can serve it up. As always, we finish off our pasta with a little extra Parmesan. That's it. Pasta with homemade marinara sauce. Enjoy.